Hey, what's going on, Lions Den? This is Boy 7 2006 again. Um, I know I said I was going to be doing updates on the draft, but the video I made on that one, I never got a chance to upload it because I had to work and something else came up. But anyways, uh, I just figured I would do just a whole entire video of the, just the whole entire recap of the draft itself. So, uh, sorry about that. So anyways, uh, I know I can use very easily just go with like day two and just work my way up. But I figure I'll start from the top for those of you who uh, who are just watching this video, not my previous one. But anyway, so for round one for our for our sixteen for our first pick in round one, we picked up T Taylor Decker, offensive tackle from Ohio State. Um, I'm just gonna say this, you know, I don't really like I can't stay in Ohio State, but you know. The way I'm seeing it, we need an offensive lineman bad. So I'll take so I'll take the pick. In round two for pick number 15, we got A. Sean Robinson, a defensive tackle from Alabama. Now without with how with how good Alabama is, I don't doubt this guy in the slightest. I'm pretty I'm pretty damn sure he's gonna help our defense out a shit ton. Um let's see here. In round three, we got we got center Graham Glasgow from Michigan. Um, as far as as far as a new center, he's part of the offensive line, and I I have no problems with this whatsoever. I think this could be a great pick. Um, for round four, pick number thirteen, we got we got a safety Miles Killebrew from Southern Utah. Um, another another player for, a new player for our secondary. The, my overall thoughts on him. Let's see here. Looking at everything, you know, it is it, he's looking pretty solid to me. And the way I'm seeing, you know, that was that was an overall great pick. Um, we had two picks in round five. Um, we had Joe Dowell. I can't pronounce that last name, but he's an offensive guard from Washington State. I'm just gonna say. Good pick, still good pick. Was another offensive lineman, and I just gotta say this right now. It's I'm that's really impressing me. Um, for the thirty second pick, which is our second round five pick, we got Antoine Williams from Georgia Southern. Um, I haven't really seen any of the highlights for too many of these guys, but I well, except for Michigan, for, except for the Michigan guy. Um, I'm just gonna say this right now. So far, these picks have been just been downright amazing, and I can't wait to see what these guys can do. Um, and of course, for round six, our sixteenth pick, which was I believe the one hundred ninety fifth overall pick. I don't know about you guys, but I think we hit gold here. Jake Rudock from from Michigan, quarterback. I'm just gonna say this right now. He, in my personal opinion, he's my favorite pick, and the reason why I'm saying he's my favorite is because. Not just because of the fact he's from Michigan, because he's so much goddamn better than Dan Orlovsky. And I was listening, I, w I had listened to a conference call that's on the Lions app, and I saw an article about where he was talking about being on the Lions. He said he was only talking about being short term. I don't want to hear none of that shit. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Jake Rudock, if you have me watching this video, I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. You are way better than Dan Orlovsky. You need to fucking stay with the Lions. You need to make the team, and you need to fucking make an impact, make a goddamn name for yourself. Because goddamn it, Dan Orlovsky sucks a dick. I'm sorry, no offense to no offense to Orlovsky, but he can't throw for shit. Jay Grudock, stay with the Lions, please. You need to back up Stafford. You're perfect for the job, in my opinion. But that's just me. Anyways, uh, and I don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. That That's me. Anyways, I'm uh, moving on. So, um, our second pick because we had three picks in round six. Our second pick was Anthony Zettel, defensive tackle from Penn State. Um, another good defensive guy. You know, I we're we're doing pretty good. Oh wait a minute, I'm looking back at Jake Rudock. He was number one ninety one. I didn't realize that the overall picks were right there. That was my fault. Um. Anyways, moving on. So our two hundred, so no, overall pick two hundred ten. The our thirty pick number thirty five in round six. We have Jimmy Landis, 
a apparently he's a long snapper. Um, I'm kind of questioning that one. I mean, I don't really know what to think about that one. I mean, is eh. but we'll see what happens. But and finally, overall pick number two thirty six. Dwayne Washington from Washington, a running back. Uh, I just gotta be straight up right now and be honest. I'm afraid I'm. That's the number one. I probably say that's probably our worst pick, because I honestly, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm I'm reading through all this. Apparently, he's had a really bad history of injuries, and. I just don't know. Ugh. I know the last thing we need is another job at best, and I'm the reason why I'm the reason why I'm using him as, a, as an example as an example is because job at best he was a really good running back for us. He played like three or four great games, and then he got hurt, and then that was the end of it. And you know, I'm sorry to say, but this guy I'm honestly scared of. And when it comes to, like, doing the official contract signings and, like, figuring out who's going to make the team and whatnot, no offense to him, but if he doesn't make the team, I would not lose any sleep over it. Um, but anyways, that's all of our picks. So we overall got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got overall ten new, we got ten new players in the draft. So my overall grade, if I had to grade the draft, I'd probably say an A minus. And the reason why I say A minus is specifically because of the last two guys. If everybody else, I give an A plus. Everybody else, I give an A plus. But these two, that dragged the, that dragged it down to an A minus. So the way I'm seeing it, Bob Quinn, fantastic job. You're doing an awesome job. Phenomenal. It's obvious he knows what the hell he's doing, and I don't, I don't doubt him in the slightest. So, anyways, that's just my, that's just my thoughts on everything. Um, I mean, you could t feel free to tell me how you guys feel in the comments. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. You know, let's just hope that things go. Let's just hope that things go well. And when it comes to training camp, that some of these, some of these better players that we just drafted will make the team. And some of our non, some some of our players that are not so great, you know, we'll put the, that they'll go eh. But the number one thing I really hope to God that happens is that Jake Rudolph will replace Dan Orlovsky as the backup quarterback. And and like I said, I don't want to hear none of this short term bullshit. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Cause he's cause he fucking made a name for himself in Michigan. I pray to God he does it in Detroit. Anyways, that, that's that's pretty much it here. Um, you know, just let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go and cut the video here. I will as soon as other things happen. It, and it, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. One more thing. Um, apparently, I was just watching a press conference with uh, Bob Quinn. He said that things are gonna be more official on Thursday. So as soon as I as soon as we see as soon as I see more updates on that one, I'll make another video to see. Let you guys know what's going on. Other than that, so that's pretty much it. Let's go Lions and uh, Fox Boy Seven Two Thousand Six out.